Good morning. Good afternoon, everybody. Before lunch, uh, people are getting too tired, but after lunch, people want to go to sleep. So, so I've got a bit of sympathy with you. I'll be there myself. But let me tell you, in general, what we do. It, it's a community venture with a very wide range of activities that we're engaged in, and I'm going to show you just a few of those activities in the hope that it'll strike recognition with you. Now, it's been gone, going for about 30 years since 1984, the established by Arquid Davis. And this is very similar to what we have heard this morning and this afternoon. If you're serious, if you're determined to make a change, you have to go for it. And it will mean an awful lot of energy and input. And Gwyn's son had uh, learning difficulties and Gwyn himself was quite an important person and the advice he had was well send your son away to hospital and let them take care of it but when we talk about sustainability people who want to live with their families who want their disabled children uh, living and uh, able to have a living at home and so it wins uh, uh, objective and ambition was to create working opportunities to train local people who are learning disabilities and to be to do that sustainably not to be at anybody's uh, uh, keeping hand attitude and to do that in an environmentally sustainable way to sustain language culture environment now working in close collaboration with the Gwyneth County Council to recycle and to reuse and very frequently the people in the third sector tend to envisage the, the public sector as the, the big enemy but unless you prepare to collaborate and compromise you won't get your own way every time but there has to be an element of being prepared to work with those who don't necessarily say your same ambitions and aspirations but, but remember Pontavrin the, the, the presentation we had we one uh, service we offer is uh, uh, to shred a, a confidential shredding that's one thing we undertake we were one of the few uh, organizations who handle this issue in North Wales you know, you, people are reluctant to get rid of a lot of their paper because it contains confidential equipment but we are registered we are fully insured to do work for doctors vets accountants solicitors to shred their confidential material and get absolutely recyclable and safe we have clients from Chester uh, who sent their paperwork to us knowing that they can trust us in full confidence and for years we've been exporting our materials our raw materials in Wales and we our wood uh, for processing elsewhere etc it's, it's a new innovative enterprising thing to do to have people sending them raw materials to us that we process it we uh, are able to offer confidential services to uh, to provide education and care for all sorts of disabilities and involved in growing uh, horticulture and uh, thereby satisfying our food sustainability policies uh, um, so we've been growing our own food and surplus for sale 
but we we are not we we the people who if you like manage these organizations these are not our workers they are co-workers we are all uh, we share an equal respect for each other there is no uh, management versus work psychology or philosophy at all in this organization now then clothes and materials uh, uh, make up three percent of the uh, the um, uh, the rubbish bin that means a total of 814 tons is available from rubbish to be recycled and be used in Gwynedd every year last year our venture collected 130 tons of, of uh, recyclable materials in rubbish bins and we've collected 120 tons uh, so far in this year 2012-13 academic year or, or fiscal year uh, we don't collect bags curb picking bags anymore because we had competitors because there was so much value in these recyclable materials and we've had two court cases in Gwynedd recently so that is it. we are in a competitive market despite the fact that we are doing it you could say m mainly for the benefit of our disabled or uh, people with learning disabilities there are cowboys in competition with us even pinching our recyclable materials that were left for curb um, collection. But as a community venture, we have scored very highly on the community uh, dimension, but we've also scored high on the uh, commercial enterprise of side of the venture uh, and the council has worked uh, uh, maybe, uh, maybe Peter can take this message back because very often the, the, the clothes go from Flincher and Flincher County Council is responsible for that go to Germany to be processed and we thereby losing jobs, losing potential, losing materials, losing cash value. Now in the community we employ 89 people and we support 44 workers that have learning disability. We work for the benefit of communities, particularly Welsh language communities in Gwynedd. And our local projects in the community um, money is invested straight back into the community and uh, we ha there is a network of banking which recycles with, uh, with schools uh, nursery schools uh, football clubs um, and we, all those have recycling banks that feed into our system and as I said because of competition we're now working with local primary schools we got an agreement with 66 out of the 74 primary schools in our area we actually we actually give them a prize for the recycled materials and it's not what we'll pay you next month if we got the money it, you know, people from North Hamas in the to collect recyclable clothes in Gwynedd and they charge a, they pay a fee as well so that's the competition we're against now we, uh, we the, our turnover last year was 2.1 million we are a local employer which is answerable to the community accountable to the people who live in the area in which we operate we have a management board of 11 members and we support sustainability in economics economic 
sustainability, community sustainability, environmental sustainability, and linguistic sustainability, cultural sustainability. But we are not merely there to provide an opportunity for disadvantaged or disabled or people with learning disability. We are there to serve the whole community. Now, we are not experts on everything. I'm, I'm sure Paul's hair would turn white if he realised some of the things that we'd engaged in. But we, we're working towards having expertise in greater uh, areas. But um, we, we've had a, a research work done and a little report has been presented and prepared for which shows that we can save £9,000 for the community. We have a wide range of people working for us and this is our priority, providing a means of occupation and opportunity and where whoever they are, people are respected and in the community.